Today we're going to be making some ring trinket dishes out of some old oyster shells. You saw me point out the dark spot that naturally occurs inside the oyster shell. So we're just using a light coat of Italian ivory from Paint Couture to cover up the spot. I'm using my heat gun to dry the paint and then I'll apply another light coat. We will be decoupaging the inside of the oyster shell using Paint Couture Extreme Guard Top Coat along with some Chow Vela rice paper. I've cut the design down in size and after applying a liberal coat of the top coat, I work the paper into the crevices and creases. I then take my brush and apply a liberal coat on top of the paper. I do my best to work out any wrinkles or air bubbles that may be under the paper. I then repeat the process on the other shell. Before starting the shells, I did a quick coat of spray paint on the backs in both gold and silver to have a different look for each shell. The Chow Bella rice paper is really nice to work with. It's thin enough that it disappears seamlessly into the shell, but it's also sturdy enough that you're not getting any rips and tears. I go ahead and give it a quick dry using my heat gun, then we're going to go in and remove the excess paper. I remove the excess paper using my fingers along with 150 grit sandpaper, also trimming with my scissors if I find it necessary. Once we've trimmed it down on nice and neat, we're applying another heavy coat of clear. The intention is to seal the dishes completely and give it a nice shine and a lot of protection. The shells are all trimmed and sealed, ready for the next step. We're going to use some Pink Couture Perfect Pigments to bring the metallic look around the inside edge of the shell. Here you see me mixing some pigment medium with the Perfect Pigments in the color Gold Rush. You can use as little or as much as you want of the powder depending on how intense you want the metallic look. I went pretty heavy since I wanted to match the spray paint I used on the back of the shell. I just paint around the edge of the shell to my liking and repeat the process on the other shell in the color Silver Lace. Here's our finished product. Look how beautiful the shells are now. I've included some other shells that I've made just to show you that the possibilities are endless. 